hello, everyone. My name is Michael Lin. I'm a research scientist at MIT Media Lab, and I'm representing uh, Taipei Tech today to show you some of the projects that we're working on in promoting urban sustainability. So, whoops, this is the last slide. All right. So the arrow points to the location of the lab. And then, so uh, we bring together technology, design, and policy in Taipei, working with MIT Media Lab. And then, so we create this lab where, uh, where uh, we create this lab for young engineers to, uh, you know, as a candy land. And then, through the support of a generous donor from Taipei Tech, and also the support from the president, uh, President Wang, and also the local team, we were able to build. We, we, were, we were able to create this environment where it allows the students to learn and then to share ideas, and then we can think about uh, different solutions to battle urban problems. So here are some of the photos, what the labs look like. And this is the mayor. The, uh, in terms of the policy, the mayor actually comes to the lab and then talk to us about urban problems. And then so uh, the essence of the lab lies within people. So this is a photo of the group of the people, and I was lucky to be able to work with these young talents. And then through the, uh, through the hard work of the local supporting teams, such as the program coordinator, Evelyn, and also Morris, and also Eric, uh, actually in, in this room. And thank you guys for putting together all this team, and then that uh, we have this opportunity to brainstorm new ideas about uh, how to transform uh, the future of Taipei. And then uh, I want to talk about challenges. Taipei is facing a lot of different challenges. This video is actually a footage of Typhoon. It's moving. You can see the fog is moving. Taipei is facing a lot of, uh, a lot of sustainable challenges. Transportation issue, lack of affordable housing, urban, uh, urban heat island, rising temperature, and all that. And then, but when you ask people, like, what's the number one issue that they concern the most? It's actually transportation. And then, so in average, this is actual footage from last month. All right, and then in Taiwan, there's about 23 million scooters running around in the city. And then in, in average, every, two, every household has about 2.3 uh, scooters. I was one of them right in here. So as a result, the commuters and pedestrians are actually exposed to, uh, to very bad uh, air quality. So from the statistics, we can actually see that Taipei, uh, in terms of just a PN 2.5 alone, is three times more compared to what WHO would suggest. And it's eight times worse when you're riding the scooter, compared to living in the, in the petroleum industry zone. And then also, uh, in average, it reduced the 64.8 day, days of your lifespan of the average people who live in Taiwan. So it is a very serious problem in terms of, the, both in, in terms of uh, urban congestion, but also air pollution. So what we did is that uh, we need to find a way to move people and to change how people travel in the city. And then so we work with that. So this is the setting of the city scope type, uh, table in Taipei. So we work with the city of Taipei. We, we gather a whole bunch of uh, uh, transportation data and try to understand the pattern. Uh, and, the, and, the inter, and the users could actually engage with this tangible table and then where you can use your iPad or cell phone to interact with the data. And then let me give you three examples of the data set that we're working with. This map maps out the, uh, the, the red dots represents the transit uh, station. The green dots are actually bike stations, and the yellow dots are actually bus stations. So by analyzing the transaction data between the public transit uh, payment, uh, payment car, we were able to understand where people are going after they get out of the station. This is the second example. The green line indicates the existing bicycle lane. As you see, there isn't too much. And the orange, line indicates, uh, the orange line indicates the frequency of how often people are actually using these roads for cycling. So this data gives us an insight on how people are actually travel inside the city and where, are, where they are going. And then furthermore, by deploying, uh, we can actually further cluster, uh, cluster all these data. And then cluster, uh, there's about uh, 1,300 bicycle stations in Taipei. And we can class them, uh, cluster them into nine different smaller communities. And this provides the insight for fleet uh, rebalancing, but also service optimization. So, uh, so combining all this, uh, combining all these crews uh, from the data, uh, when Ken and I meet with the mayor of Taipei, we present this map uh, in the blueprint style, where the uh, where the existing park and tree lines are actually marked in green. So the idea is actually very simple. We could there's a, we could strategically connect different tree lines and parks and form this high speed urban corridor to promote sustainable mode of mobility. 
We also propose uh, the persuasive electric vehicle. You will see a version of it downstairs later. And then we also propose a new type of autonomous vehicle that both deliver pa that, that both serve for uh, it transform into package delivery system. So it does both human traffic, human mobility, and also package delivery. And then so uh, by proposing these ideas to the mayor, we're hoping that one day we no longer see these people, these scooters running uh, on the street. We can see more people changing their behavior into cycling or in, into use this low carbon uh, mobility. So I'm running out of the time. And then so, uh, so this is, a, so the blueprint does not stop here. We use this to actually collect the community data. This bottom up participation is very important when we talk about large scale urban transformation. And then we also, uh, thanks to the stable diffusion, so this is a Google Map interface. You can use the street view to, pan, uh, to, to look for the space where you want to uh, make changes. And then the data that we collected in the previous blueprint allows us to become the text prompt, where you enter the text prompt in the bottom, later on you will see it, and then hit generate. And then the, 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 the generative AI gives the people the, the power of imagination to change the city, to actually sketch your own street view. So that's what it looks like. All right, so uh, I would like to reiterate the city science process where, you know, uh, so uh, what, what I show so far has been talking about insight and transformation, but then there's still a long way to go. We want to do prediction, we want to reach consensus, and then uh, everything I talked about is actually open source. So uh, I invite everyone to come with us and sketch the future of your city together. Thank you. <laughs>